Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I'd like to show you the Hyper Osiris Mid Tower Gaming Rig Case. This one here that we're looking at today is the black version. It also comes in two other colors. But look at this nice brushed metallic finish. It's flushed, everything is hidden behind these plates. There's the, your uh, buttons for your optical drives, for example. And as you can see here, as we go down, it has also an intake fan. So one fan at the front, 120 millimeters, getting air in. On the side here, we got a huge opening so you can see everything that's going on on the inside on that mesh. It's made out of aluminum, the whole case, it's a metal case, okay, keep that in mind. So it's a good quality in construction, screwless design, so you don't need any tools. And here's an example of that. Look at these two latches. These latches actually allow you to quickly release the side panels and get inside the case quickly, right? All you have to do is just push it down, it pops open, and there you go, all set. Right? On the inside of that um, side panel, you can see the clips here that attach themselves to the inside of the case. It makes it very, very handy and quick, and I like that. Now looking at the inside bottom, you can see here that there's a dust filter for the power supply, the intake of air that's going to go in, and you can see the PCI slots here. Again, all made out of that aluminum material. You have three fans that come with this case. Here are the two exhaust fans that I was telling you about, and the one at the front make up the three okay those are the three they're all identical they all go up to about 1500 rpm and there's the three pin connectors for them um, the motherboard tray there's the standoffs the holes for them and of course this supports mini micro the atx regular size uh, atx motherboards that you would expect for a mid tower case and here's the legend also you can actually see the uh, close-up of the holes and how to install your motherboard so you don't have to worry about uh, exactly how to place your motherboard in there. This one would tell you the where the standoffs are. So pretty straightforward there. Now looking at the uh, front again, when you pop out that uh, cover, again, everything is metal, right? The mesh, the plates, everything here. So I like the quality of the design and the materials, for example. Okay, not just the plates here, but also look at the clips, the clips that actually attach themselves onto the case. Those clips themselves are also made out of metal, right? So you might have had a case in the past that the front bezel was made out of plastic, maybe things came out. Well, this one is actually all metal. So you know it's gonna last a little bit longer, right? It's a stronger quality, it doesn't wear off as easy. Okay, now looking at another innovative portion of this case that I like a lot, there's a modular hard drive rack. Now this rack actually comes out okay and inside of it you would install your hard drives okay it comes out very easily it just screws on each side of it take out the thumb screws and then after that you could slide it out and here's what I'm talking about now here's the fan that that I mentioned that comes with it and you would install perhaps four drives in here and these you just slide them in and um, and then after that you would just put that rack right back in in its place right so it's very easy again screwless design you don't need screwdrivers for this you just slide your hard drive in there and then with the thumb screws that come with the case, you would then attach the drive to this cage, right? So it's very easy, you just screw them in on both sides, top and bottom, and then after that, just slide it right back into the case, right? And then connect the uh, appropriate um, data cables and your power cables to the drive. So you're all set there. Pretty straightforward, easy, quick, uh, again, of good quality and construction. Next thing I'd like to show you here, so installing an optical drive is again very easy, you just slide it into place, nothing fancy there, and then attach the screws on either side, and then put the front plate, the bezel here, snap it in place very easily, again I mentioned the clips are made out of metal, so you just make sure that you align it, snap it here, snap it there on each corner, and then you're all set. Now look at the... Uh, the front here where the CD-ROM tray opens, right? That's how it would look, right? There's your CD-ROM tray, and when you press the button, the tray would force that door to open and it would it would pop out, right? So it conceals it, it hides it in there. Now the other side of the case here, if I uh, press these two latches down, you can see that there are cable management capabilities. Now the tray itself is not removable, but you can see that there are holes for your data cables, power supply cables, for attaching twist ties here along the sides for example so you don't have cables dangling all over the place so you do have holes in there the only thing is that 
the space here in between the tray and this and the side panel itself is not that great okay so you want to be careful not to squish your cables but you can use this left hand side here to actually have your cables go around as well now let's take a look here also at the back looking at the power supply that's fairly standard it's intaking air from the bottom here that dust filter you've got options for water cooling of course and there's your PCI slots and as you go here at the top you've got your fan and the IO ports here on the uh, left hand side for your motherboard but these this fan actually you can actually replace it and put other fans you can see the holes there for different sizes but that's pretty much standard and the fan that it comes with is is good enough now looking at the top of the case you've got the USB ports and eSATA your microphone your headset your input for audio your power and your reset everything flushed very nice and neat against the top so you can't accidentally hit something and turn it on and moving along here along the top you've got the exhaust again for the other 120 millimeter fan that it came with and the nice black grill that matches okay so it's very slick and then again with the case itself you do get all the required cables and screws and manual and everything that you would need as part of the installation but I like these these uh, PCI um, uh, plates at the, for the back that have the option for for uh, exhaust of air right you need stuff like that and that's very nice that uh, hyper included that in the case not just the screws and the manual and and the standard stuff that you would expect with the case of course uh, but you do get um, little things like this which make it part of a good a good case overall and a little bonus a keychain with the serial number which is which is nice now, uh, looking at the case now actually filled up with stuff, I had shown this in my previous video basically, but I've got a power supply also from Hyper in there. I've got um, an ATI Radeon 4870X2 installed, plenty of space to spare so you could have a large video card inside, no problem. Uh, I also have a very large cooler. I have the V8 Cooler Master cooler in there and uh, it doesn't uh, touch anything I've got plenty of room and also I have here removed the front fan and installed another fan that I had which was twice the amount of speed almost and I wanted to increase the speed so a lot of flexibility good quality case sturdy made out of uh, aluminum alloy and and it's got a great design so I couldn't recommend the, any any more uh, of a better mid tower case and I'd like to thank Hyper the Hyper group for providing this and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.